You did well, regardless of where the powers of the ambitions now rest. I agree. You defeated Mehrun's Dagon. That's incredible. And there's the hero of the moment! The small wood elf has an oversized persona. Rather like a banekin, I suppose. She informed me of the rendezvous in Leowin. Kalia and I will be sure to attend. There is something I'd like to bring to your attention first. There have been strange magical occurrences in the city. They started quite recently. And while I do not know for sure, I have a theory about these incidents. After hearing what transpired in Thundercliff, I believe they may be connected to Lyranth. The little wood elf told us that Lyranth stole the power of the ambitions. Even for someone as capable as Lyranth, all of that energy could be overwhelming. That kind of power is volatile. It may leak from her core until she manages to control it. I cannot say for certain, but if I am correct, it means Lyranth is somewhere in Fargrave. And it will only be a matter of time before she learns to wield that power without leaving a trail. This may be your last chance to speak with her. I do not know if you will find Lyranth, but you may as well try. I sent my faithful servant Hezek to investigate the disturbances, though I doubt the fool has found much. Regardless, Kalia and I will meet you and your other allies in Leowin. Just look around the city for sparkling balls of dancing light. I understand they can be quite beautiful. Or find my servant Hezek. I sent him out to investigate. Either way, you'll run into Lyranth or not. She's stubborn, even for a Dramora. Lyranth, huh? I'll help you look. Let's meet at the Plaza of Portals in a bit to compare notes. Immortal as the mouthpiece of great Vruzinbo. For patrons of the House of Whims, my master offers a spiritual lustration. Know that, know that his gentle manner and bearing will elevate your mind and soul to untold heights. Great Vruzinbo is a magnanimous being, fellow mortal. But even so, even one so gracious as he must collect the tithe for the illustration, for the sake of the House of Whims. Great Vruzimbu has bestowed on you the... the blessing that is his dulcet ardor. Let his, uh, let his quintessence adhere to you as the warm embrace it is. Aha. Uh -huh. Ninzeru always attracts them, does he not? The curious, the irrepressible priors. You wish to know what Ninzeru can offer you in this house of Madame Wims, yes? Ninzeru has the tonic, living one. My golden panacea to make your insides shine. Of course, gold begets gold, living one. Unlike the madam, Ninzeru provides no free samples. He will summon the prized substance from the most valuable of sources. Coming right up. The cleanse is successful, as Ninzeru's cleanses always are. You must permit to pass what you living ones refer to as... Time, I believe. The golden panacea writhes within your offal. 
Nanzeru cannot perfect what his tonic has already begun perfecting. cannot hope to stand alone against the Dagonists and an army of living disasters. You there. The Grasp requests your aid. Mortal, you seem more capable than most. The Grasp of the Stricture has a task that you may be able to assist with. The apprehension of mortal criminals. I understand your kind enjoys material gain. I can pay you for your help. A band of mortal thieves tried to steal a large quantity of the drug known as Red Maiden. When I attempted to apprehend them, they ran to the plaza of portals and fled into the Sever. You must search the Sever for these criminals and bring them back to me. Their leader's name is Bach. He went through the portal last, and therefore should be easy to find. He is a cunning mortal, but he and the others cannot have gotten far. Return the criminals to Fargrave once you have apprehended them. I will take care of things from there. I request that you proceed with haste. If the trail is lost, it will be difficult to pick it up once more. I find it hard to believe a mortal such as yourself is ignorant of such a substance. Your kind are always scrabbling for it. Red Maiden is a drug. When regularly ingested, it can anchor a mortal to Fargrave just as a pact with a Daedra would do. It cost you nothing, mortal. As for what I paid, I'd rather not discuss it. place where our paths diverge. Little mortal, come to take in the view. You would not rest until you found me, little mortal. I skirted the wood elf earlier, but I know better than to keep you from your goal. I assume you wish to speak with me. So, speak? Steal? Destron is dead, Sombren is dead, and Kalia was already stripped of hers. I stole nothing. As for the Anchorite, she is better off without them. She should thank me for removing that shackle to her past. My plan? I started out looking to learn a secret. Where my search would lead, I had no clue. But yes, the more we uncovered, the more I grew interested in the ambition's power. The ability to shift destinies. What happens next? Not your concern. Oh, but it does. Where I walk next, no mortal has even ventured. Possibly no Daedra either, for that matter. I will not allow anyone to stand in my way. 
Not even you. It is time to let me go, little mortal. Mortals. Always asking questions that do not require answers. But I cannot discount your role in helping me achieve my goals, so I suppose I can try to satisfy your curiosity. Go ahead. Ask what you will. We are no longer allies. I do not see the point. My part in this is finished, and I am satisfied. There is nothing further I need from them, or from you. To fulfill a promise made a long, long time ago, little mortal. And that is all I will speak of it. I am not a prophet, mortal. Seeing the future is not among my many abilities. But the whorls and eddies of existence carry us together and apart in their courses. None can truly know when we will meet again. You have been quite useful, little mortal. You have my thanks, for what it is worth. Wherever I go next, do not attempt to follow. Our paths must diverge, at least for now. Everywhere and talked to everyone I could find. I even gave someone one of my arrows, and then he ran off with it. Ugh, this place. Did you find Lyrinth? I'm at the end of my branch here. Maybe that's for the best. Lyrinth worked as hard as any of us to stop Mayroon's Dagon, but we all understood she wasn't doing it for Nern's sake. I'm almost afraid to ask, but did she say why she took the power of the ambitions? Figures. Maybe it's silly, but I was hoping for a little reassurance that we didn't just unleash a new threat on the world directly after banishing another. I have a bad feeling about all of this, but there's not much we can do. You're right. Let's just hope it doesn't come back to bite us anytime soon. Come on, we should get to Leowin. The others should be gathering, and I'll pick up any stragglers we missed on the way. Meet you there?
running. What do you want? And better yet, what are you doing all the way out here? If you don't mind, I'm actually running for my life at the moment. So if you could let me get back to that, I'd appreciate it. What? The Dremora actually asked for help? Bah! I'll never understand the grasp. All right, before you do anything hasty, at least let me explain. This is a big misunderstanding. Or I guess it's not. Well, we've got a good reason, I swear. Hold on, it's not safe here. Please, find my two friends and send them to the portal to Fargrave. It's where we plan to meet if we got separated. Once we're together, I'll tell you the whole story. You can decide what to do with us from there. Many thanks. Their names are Eliza and Minwaleth. We all split up once we got here, but they shouldn't be far. I'll head to the portal now. I promise I'll explain everything once those two are safe. Closer. I don't have the strength to fight you or any money to give you, but please, I beg you to look the other way. Let me go. You saw Bach? Is he safe? He must be if he told you to come find me. I'm not sure why you're helping us, but I don't care. Thank you, stranger. What about Minwaleth? Please tell me this wasteland hasn't taken her. Please, you must find her. When we got here through the portal, we split up to keep the grasp from tailing us. I took the east road, and she took the north one. It's my fault we're all out here. I don't know what I'll do if she's hurt. Then I'll make my way there. Thank you, stranger. You can't know what this means to me.
I'm sorry, Eliza. I should have been more careful. Don't. This is my... This is all my fault. Why did I have to be so weak? Why did I have to be the one to get the dream? There's no point in running. It's all... futile. I can feel myself slipping away. Maybe I should just accept it. This damn sickness. It's different for everyone. Some people get by for years with just headaches. For others, it takes them in a few days. I keep forgetting things. Sometimes I wake up, and I don't even know my own name. It's getting worse. The Red Maiden we stole. It would have given me time, at least. Buck insisted we had to get our hands on some when we found out I was sick, but we didn't think we'd get caught. Minwileth had it when we came here. God knows where it is now. There wasn't time while we were in Fargrave. Everything happened so fast. We agreed Minwileth would hold it, and as soon as we were safe, we'd meet up again and I'd take it then. But nothing worked out like we planned. What? Really? I don't know what to say. I could kiss you or cry or scream. <laughs> But I'll save us both the trouble and just say thank you. You've given me a fighting chance. All of this won't have been in vain. Thank you, friend. I won't lie. I thought you'd turn right back around to Fargrave and give us up to the grass. Thanks for coming to hear us out. I'm glad Eliza's here, but... What about Menwaleth? Did you find her? Damn. I feared as much. I should have been more careful. The three of us have been stealing things since we were young, and we always managed to come out on the other side just fine. But I was just so scared for Eliza, I wasn't thinking straight. Exactly. And then we ran here to escape punishment, but punishment is all we found in this wasteland. If we stay out here, we'll end up like Minwala. But if we go back, it's whatever the grasp considers justice. And for Eliza, the drain. I guess that's up to you, isn't it? You hold our fate in your hands. You are decent enough to hear us out. So we'll comply with whatever you decide. Besides, it's my decisions that got us all into this mess. I shouldn't be making any more. Buck, are you sure? What if I get worse? We'll be able to find a way to get you more Red Maiden if we're free. Come on. Thank you, friend. You return, but I do not see my quarry with you. Explain. Without the stolen item, no restitution can be made. Without the thieves, I cannot render judgment. The limits of mortals are exhausting, but I will assume you at least made an effort. Here, yeah, your reward, as the stricture defines it.
are. Did you have any luck? There you are. Good, you're here. I was afraid this crowd would turn ravenous if they had to wait any longer. Don't be alarmed. Looks like everyone's in a good mood. Though I think there's a few more people here than expected. Apparently, word spread faster than we thought. When I got here, there were already people gathered. Everyone knows what we did in Sundercliff. Everly's trying to muster the courage to say something to all of them, but she could use a little help. Everly's a little nervous. That wood elf can stare down a Daedric prince without blinking, but public speaking? There is the thought. She could use your help. Good question. I have my memories back, no strange ambition powers to speak of, and nothing riding on my shoulders. I could do anything. I think I'm going to stay close to Kalia for a bit. Tamriel is new to both of us. We can navigate it together. Of course, it's my home. Or at least the closest thing I've ever had to one. But I'm excited to familiarize myself with Tamriel. There's so much I don't know. Besides, having Kalia as a travel companion will be nice. We could both use the company. Look at all these people! I wasn't expecting this. I guess it's not that surprising. You've got a habit of bringing all sorts together, don't you? I think they want a speech or something. I can't stick arrows in a speech. What do I say? Thanks to you, more like. Sure, everyone here played a part, but no one would be left standing if you hadn't been there. You're the reason Tamriel is safe. I look up to you, you know. You deserve so much more than this. But here, take it. Uh, uh, people? Daedra? Uh, everyone? I'm not particularly great at speeches, so I'll get this over with. Mehrunes Dagon tried to take Tamriel for himself, but we sent his ruddy ass back to oblivion. Now, the 
there's one person who's been in this fight since the start of it, and I want to make sure they get their due. Take a bow, you. Blackwood deserves to celebrate its hero. <laughs> it's nice to be able to celebrate something. Though I can't stop thinking about Lyrinth out there with all that power. I know I'll be sleeping with one eye open for a good long while. But I'm glad I can count on you after all this. I still remember the day you appeared in our vault. I was so scared back then. It felt like everything I knew was burning to ash. I've grown a lot since then, and I have you to thank for that. It feels like my life is finally just beginning. I grew up hidden away from the world, as did the Anchorite. We've decided to travel Tamriel together for the time being. I think of her as a sister, but one I don't know especially well. I'm looking forward to learning more about her. Well, what a journey! Investigator Vale would be proud of us, don't you think? I wouldn't have wanted to save the world with anyone else besides you. We make a pretty great team. Who knows? Maybe I'll find some new world-ending mess to get myself into. I've got a taste for it now. I'm going to miss you. But I'm sure our paths will cross again. The two of us never stay out of trouble for long. This is a grand day, Master. I am honored to be here to witness it. And should you ever have need of my fangs or claws, you will always have them. Though I am grieved to no longer travel at your side, I must return to the Celestial Palanquin. Madame Wim has agreed to assist me in searching for another way to release me from this cursed form. Perhaps it is too much to hope for, but I must try. May Wum's Dagon, defeated by mortals. I did not think such a thing was possible. Madam Wim seems pleased. Perhaps that will make my existence under her more bearable. The tales of our battles and victories will be known to all blade bearers henceforth. They will be recited with the utmost pride. You called, we answered. Though I do not know if the mortals of Leowin approve of our presence. It came as quite a shock to those that witnessed our arrival. We will return to Oblivion quickly after this is through, do not worry. I am impressed with you, mortal. You did something many thought was impossible, and are still standing at the end of it. When you first brightened the door of the House of Whims, I thought there was something special about you. Something intoxicating. Business, as always. Clients come and go, and come again. Oblivion will shudder for a time with the echo of Mehrun's Dagon's defeat, but it changes little for me. The House of Whims will always provide for those who have need of it. This one is not surprised. You had the courage to enter the Brandfire Reformatory to recover a stranger sister. Of course you'd be the one to shove those half-witted pyromaniacs back to the pits where they belong. Tufe will spend some time with her family. She has learned not to take them for granted. After that, this one has given some thought to exploring Tamriel. There must be embers of the Waking Flame still lit. Tufe would like to extinguish them. Twice now you have saved the people of Blackwood, and perhaps all of Tamriel, from the devastation of Mehrun's Dagon. Forgive me if I say that I hope we do not meet this way again. Blackwood is at peace. 
I can lay down my sword for a time and spend my days building something new instead of fighting to save what is already here. Although, I think I will begin by building better walls in Gideon, just in case. This day belongs to you, friend. I can't imagine how we would have stopped Von Dacia or Mehrunes Dagon without your help. I fought for my home and my people. Any soldier would do as much. But you, my friend, had the courage to take up a cause that wasn't yours, and face dangers beyond this world. And all for the sake of strangers. I salute you. You, the magician, defeated Mehrunes Dagon again? This is incredible. I... I need some mead. A very kind Nord woman in Wretched Spire said that there was a group here who could help me. I've been trying to find them, but I don't have much coin. Oh, I'm sorry, but then I heard you defeated Dagon again. I'm not confused. Right, right. You're in disguise, too. I'll keep your secret here. I won't tell a soul, not even the Saravu Tong when I find them. Your secret is safe with me, magician. Strength, vigor, firm, hardy skin. How could a single person contain so many gifts? And yet, here you stand, my Raj Biko. From the muds below my hut to the heights of this moment, a legend grows before my eyes. How could the deeds of Otumi Ra become any more legendary? My name is already known across all of Tamriel. What next, the moons? I receive my own stars? Actually, hmm. Now, just watching your great success pleases me enough. Your legend within these lands grows, and it is well deserved. I hope you have no plans for moving on from here unnoticed. Believe me when I say that the more people speak of you, the harder blending in becomes. I'm going to find some of those pastries you mortals rave about. I might as well try to make sense of something, and I have more of a chance of understanding them than I do your accomplishments. I once read in a first era tome that even the smallest flea might inspire the tallest hist. You have inspired me in much the same way. I do not offer gratitude all that often, as you may know, but the other winds ask that I say thank you. Elosi finally convinced us to take on students, replacements to carry the tradition of the winds. They will need a great deal more training before they can match my, ah, greatness. But knowing they will be out there pleases me. My mistress, the Dread Lady, gone. And she didn't take me with her. What did I do to displease her? More importantly, what did you do to make her leave? Ugh, this is all your fault. It has to be. Or maybe this is a test. Go away. I need to ponder. There aren't enough words to thank you for what you've done. Not just for us, for me. But for all of Nern, it's an honor to know you, Champion. When you helped us in the Sever, I had no idea you'd go on to save all of Nern, too. We're grateful you took the time to pull our sorry hides out of trouble. Eliza's feeling better. We might stay here for a bit to visit Minwaleth's family, though.
Rumors of what you've done have flown across plains. Can't say I'm too surprised after what I saw in that citadel. Don't know how you see yourself, but you're a hero to the entire Kalmar clan. I reached an awful town called Wretched Spire. From there, I hitched a ride with a merchant caravan headed this way. I'm learning a lot about the people living beyond our home. Villages, families, communities exist in places I didn't expect. Need to keep moving, you know? Maybe find another caravan, head to more strange cities. Learn more than I could have ever thought. Eventually I'll go back to Nern, but not for a while. served time in White Rose. Horrible place. You made the right choice, friend.
Want to prove yourself? Would you care to help a friend receive a blessing? 